Hey, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is a tutorial video on how to draw hot air balloons, as I did these for my April bullet journal theme. There are some balloons I used in my plan with me, but there are also some different styles in there too. Hope you enjoy my video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment down below if you want more videos like these. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to draw the basic shape of the hot air balloon, which can be used for loads of different designs, and many of the ones I've used I'm going to show you in this video. Always start a pencil because otherwise you are likely to get the wrong shape for the balloon. Draw a circle in pencil firstly, with a small oval underneath, and join them up with your pencil. Then erase the pencil lines and draw, go over it with a fine liner. Then if you want to draw a really simple design for this balloon, I drew mo multiple lines downwards inside the balloon. Afterwards, draw four lines coming down from the oval and add a little basket. Then I coloured in with lots of different reds, oranges and yellows in a sort of ombre design and coloured in the basket brown for a really simplistic hot air balloon doodle. Make sure when you draw the lines downwards to make them kind of rounded with the shape of the balloon to make it look more 3D and realistic. For this design is really nice because it really looks realistic with the ombre in the end and the finish is really nice. So now I'm going to show you different styles and ways to draw hot air balloons which I really enjoy. Not only designs I used in my April bullet journal theme, but also some other ones I really liked too. With the first one, you start off with the base shape as usual by drawing a circle and a little oval underneath, joining them up and then going over with a fine liner. And then I went down with the lines, rounded lines as I did in the other hot air balloon I showed you. And then after that, I went across with rounded horizontal lines to make a crisscross effect and leave little squares behind. And then I drew, I added four lines at the bottom, drew a little basket, and then I started colouring the squares diagonally across with like one colour, and then going in with the next colour like an ombre. So I started off with brown, then went to a reddish colour, and then so on, I went with oranges to yellows. I, this is one of my favourite designs that I used in my April plan with me video because it's really realistic and 3D because of the rounded lines we used and the colouring in just gives a really nice effect at the end. So now I'm just colouring in with more orange and going in with until I get really lighter colours. So the colours look really similar lots of the colours are similar because it just makes it look neater and makes the ombre look more clean and more professional. So then I just finished off leaving a little white gap above the brown and then adding more yellow at the top and then I coloured the little basket brown. So for the next design, this is kind of like a level two I would say with the hot air balloon because it's more um, the shape is more advanced and stuff. So I started off with the base and then I went in with like different, I mean, it's kind of not very easy to explain. You can kind of see what I'm doing on the video, but. So it's like kind of like a seashell shape. So I went in with like curves and then went in making the curves smaller as I went along. And then I added kind of rounded zigzag shapes to make a triangle and then added four lines and then a little basket as well. So now I'm going in with a, a red on one side of the triangle zigzag centre bit. I'm kind of not sure, but it was cool, but yeah. And then I went in with a, a really slightly, you could barely see it, but a really slightly lighter orange colour to make the shadows look more realistic. And then I went back over it because I realised the colours look the same. So I had to make them a bit more different because this makes it look more realistic because it's just um, how the sun would be coming in on the balloon to make it look like 
the 3D like curves are going in the balloon. And then I did the same with the orange and then I went in with the lighter orange after on one side and then did the little basket brown as usual. Most of the baskets are brown in this video, so yeah, that's basically. And then now for the next one, as usual, just getting a bit repetitive here, just going with the basic shape and then, so, but now, um, instead of going over with the fine liner, we are going in really, really lightly and really um, doing really thin lines down, like really thin gaps. So doing the same crisscross design, but in pencil and um, really in pencil and doing, make sure the gaps are like really small to make it look more detailed. I mean, if you don't want to do it as detailed, obviously you can just do the same spacing as we did in the other balloon. But this is now for a change. I'm changing up the colors, switching up the colors, going for like more cool colors like blues and greens. And with pencil, I'm going across the um, balloon with little squares, doing the same technique we did for the other balloon. But now it's much more detailed because there are obviously more squares and the squares are more small. And now the colors are even more similar than the other one. So started off with like dark blues, then went to, to light blues, turquoises, and now moving on to the greens. And as you can see, I kind of made a little mistake. I didn't count the squares correctly during when I was coloring it in. So I kind of, as you can see in like a little bit, I kind of had to go over it and over it to get the colors right, which wasn't very clever of me, seeming as I've probably drawn similar balloons loads of times in my plan with me. So yeah, you can see me kind of failing there. But then I also added a little bit of yellow just to mix it up. I mean, obviously it goes with the green. And then, yeah. And then after that, I went in with a little bit of orange as well after the yellow, just to finish the little rainbow off. And then I went in at the top as well, next to the blue, leaving a little white um, strip of squares as well, just to make sure. And then I, this is, this is one of my favorites in this spread because it's, it's even more realistic and 3D than the other one. And I like it because it has no outline as well, which also makes it quite unique compared to all the other ones. And yeah, so it's basically just pencil. And then at the end, I colored the little basket black this time with a black coloring pencil. And yeah, moving on to the next balloon. So for the next balloon, this is a monochrome one which is just using a black fine liner. So I went in with the normal shape, went over it with black, and so it's kind of like, this, in, what inspired me for this is kind of like the Zen tangles and really intricate designs like that. So I went in with like a line, and then I did some dots, and then I did zigzags, and went over the zigzag like in reverse. I'm not sure how to explain that. And then I just did little bumps, and then I went over it to make it more bold. And then I carried on with the same design, but coming from the bottom so it meets in the middle. And I really like it because it's really different to the others because it's like, obviously it has no colour because sometimes the hot air balloons can have like loads of colour and it's quite exhausting. So now this is just a black and white one just to mix up. Added little lines in the middle. Added my basket as well. Coloured that in black with my fine liner. This is also quite a good one because all you need is a fine liner basically and a pencil to draw the base. So loads of people can do that even if you don't have many supplies at home. So yeah. So now, this is just to mix it up a little bit. So here we've got, so I went, this is a watercolour one for a change. So I went in with a little, I did a little pink circle and then I went in with a darker pink just to, a darker pink but this is more of the hot air balloon shape, just to shape it a little bit more, just to change it up a bit. And then this one is more intricate, the next one I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, and then I went over that as well. I went over that pink, just to make it a bit more bold and stuff. 
So now this one is really intricate and I really love it. I mean, it's not that intricate, but like it's really effective in the way it's done. Like the design is really nice. So I did an orange little zigzag and then I went over with yellow, leaving a little bit of like white. So it's kind of playing with a negative space here. And then I went underneath with the bottom just to finish off with the with the um, yellow to make it look like an actual shape of a hot air balloon. And I love this because it's really simple but it's so effective with the way it's done. And it's like really easy to draw. So I left that to dry. Like magic, I know, it dried so quick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, and then I added a little basket at the bottom of the, the yellow and orange one. And then for the pink circle I drew, I mean painted, I did a little, um, I did a little top in like, but I left a little bit of gap, which I really like. That's the main bit I like about these watercolor ones. It's just like leaving a little bit of space, which I think looks really nice. And then I just did it in different sections and then I added a, a little basket. And then I did similar with the, um, with the darker pink one, I did similar designs. And then I did zigzags, curves, and different things like that. Add a little basket and we are done. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And comment down below if you want more tutorial videos similar to these. And um, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Bye!